So quite often in GCSE maths, you meet a problem that involves money. And the reason for that is because uh, it's quite easy to then test you on decimals uh, with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's say, for example, you were asked to add up uh, a load of uh, amounts of money. So let's say we had uh, 60 pounds and we also had uh, 30 pence and we also had uh, one pound and 50 and we also had let's say um, 28 pounds and 83 pence okay let's say I had to add up these amounts so it's making sure that you understand the notation so uh, for uh, pounds sterling in this case and also for pence so if I was asked to add up those amounts, I would make sure that I've got them in a list. Um, so 60 pounds, so 60. Now 30 pence is 0.3 pounds. Okay, so I would need to put 0.3 there. And then we've got one pound 50. So one pound and 50 pence. And then I've got 28 pounds and 83 pence. So 28 pounds and 83 pence okay now you can see I've got no decimal point there so I'll put that in and then any zeros I'll put in as well to fill the gaps put in a plus sign and then I'm ready now you could have done this from the largest amount to the smallest amount um, but with addition it doesn't really matter so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 it's 3 then we've got 3 8 16 so 6, carry the 1, bring the decimal point down. So then we've got 1 plus 8, which is 9, plus 1 is 10. So we'll have to put in 0, carry the 1. Then we've got 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So the total, and make sure you've got the uh, pound sterling sign, and that would be 90 pounds and 63 pence.